So we're getting back at hauling soybeans here. We got the south bin empty. We got that empty, I believe they got done Friday night. And they took one or two loads out of here. We got three loads out so far today. And I'm just about down to the door. So we'll have to move down to the auger. Probably the end of today or beginning of tomorrow. So you just saw was when I climb up here at the scoop, I'm just angling the flow, kind of the front and the back, just moving it three feet or so, the peak of the pile. And by doing that, we can get an extra 100 bushels. And that's five minutes less that the cart's got to, the semis are sitting here waiting. This plate, it's kind of hard to tell where it is, I'm guessing. Our green line's about right there. So by the end of today, we'll be Hopefully moving it down to the auger. And then another two or three days we'll get this bin empty. And we got two other bins yet we can work on hauling out of. That'll take up the rest of the week. And part of the, probably Tuesday or so we'll get done. Plus we're looking at chopping hay at the end of the week. So that'll slow things down a little bit more. So we got the truck here behind me just pulling in. I'll head back here to the tractor to get this fired up and then once he's in line we'll start unloading took about two two and a half hours he left at uh like 2 45 or so and it's about 6 30 now so that'd be a little over a three hour trip
police taking off here. They might be coming back with one more truck yet tonight, but who knows. I think he took two of those cast iron little shield things off here today or this weekend alone. And just see light through the hole. So I'll run it this way for a while. And we'll move it to the auger. So I might as well move the tractor head and set this all down. I think we gotta move the tractor head. We gotta take this here, get it under here. And then well, it'll probably take two people to move that. I'll just keep busting on for now. I'll go get some help. So we got the conveyor here moved over. I went to turn on the GoPro to do a time lapse and switching it over, but of course the battery's gotta be dead. Got to the point where it was just trickling out of the door. So they moved it down here, but as slow as the six inch auger is, it almost should open the door all the way. This is a lot slower. We're getting there, but this one will be a lot slower and empty. Keep this somewhat closed in case it decides to avalanche. Move it over, we just took the skid steer, dug a hole, moved the dirt out there. Every year we gotta do this in most parts. And then the bear was sitting here on the barrel. Move it over, we had to move the cart ahead 10 feet, push this back a little bit, and then got it all set cart good. So we got the cart loaded up now, and I'll say for sure this auger is a whole lot slower than the door. It's 8 o'clock now though, so who knows if the trucks will be back tonight, top off for tomorrow. So this will probably sit here for a night, and we'll get back at it tomorrow. Show the dent that we did for taking it out. Just starting to make a little pit in the middle. And it, it leaks a little bit, but a lot of this that's here is the cracked soybeans anyway. So we'll clean this all up on the last load. We're out here at one of our pasture pieces. We got the farm site there we got, and we got bunch of dry cows here anywhere from 15 to 30 from time to time and we've always had small stones like there's one there's one he's got the flag there for one he's got to dig out we had evidently quite a few in that little area there and some there it looks like that one was big enough that he wasn't even gonna mess it trying to dig it out so all the rocks he's digging out were pushed onto a pile he's got a large boulder there one up in the pile there and he's got his excavator sitting there he's got a few more to dig out yet and my grandpa just pushed him out of the pile and whenever we mow this with our sickle or the this bind we always have the potential to hit rock so any rock that will do a lot of damage we're taking out and then if we really need to we could plant corn in this 20 acres or so if we ever saw that is justifiable we ever pick up the next cornfield it's a 200 acre field roughly it'd be able to fit right in with this we'll mow this side here and then there's a little 5 10 acre piece there which we'll mow a little curve on it and then from where the cow is our south to the farm is all a deep waterway there's no point in mowing that So we have the last truck of the night coming in now. It's just 8.45 now. We have the tractor all fired up. We'll get this unloaded and I'll be done loading this probably by 9.30, 10 o'clock. So if you like this video, make sure to 
check me out on Instagram at Minnesota Dairy Farmer also. And also hit that subscribe button down low and tell me what you think of it. Until next time, enjoy. God bless.